Hi, and welcome back to Live Happy Locks. I am Tori Franklin, and welcome to Live Happy Locks. Okay. <laughs> um, so, exciting news today. I am one month into my second lock journey, and I am so excited. This video, I will be comparing my first month with my comb coils versus my first month with these two strand twists. So for a general update, I haven't seen much visual change in my locks other than, of course, some frizziness, as you can, you know, see on the top, see in the locks, but nothing has unraveled in the bottom and not a single thing has really unraveled up here on the top, um, except for the locks that I already had. I had three locks when I first started. I had, well, they're up in this ponytail, two on the side and this one in the back, which I combined with more hair, and this one always unravels, but everything else that is two strand twisted is pretty well tight in there. Oh yes, so there is something unique happening in my head this month. There was a piece of hair that I missed when I started my two strand twists, and I pretty much decided just to let it be. Let's see if I can find it. Hmm. This little regret doesn't have a lock. Um, so I've decided to leave it alone and let it do its thing. I have named it Little Bird and I yesterday um, twisted its root so that it can begin its own lock. So I'm gonna be keeping updates on this little one. Follow me on, this is a weird position, but Follow me on Instagram if you would like to see how this one flourishes and the rest of my journey. On my first attempt, I had comb coils. I got comb coils because it was suggested to me by the loctician that started my locks for me. Um, she didn't give me much of a reason. I didn't ask for much of a reason. I was just like, okay. <laughs> the second time when I started this set, I was going to go to a loctician to get it done. Um, and she also suggested comb coils. Again, I did not ask, but I really wanted this two strand twist. So I ended up doing it myself. If you want to see the video where I started my locks by myself with this two strand twist, click here. But there are a couple differences between comb coils and two strand twists. Let's get to them. <gasps> that was me being a transition. Washing. When I started my comb coils, I washed my hair five days into the comb coils. Nothing to do with the comb coil. It was just because I didn't understand the porosity of my hair and I felt like I needed to wash it very often. If you wanna know more about your hair porosity or moisturizing with low porosity hair, the video is right up here. The first time I washed my hair in the comb coils was five days in, as I said, and I used a stocking cap I used stockings and made it into a cap and I put it over my head and gently washed, ooh, see the video, <laughs> and gently washed um, so that they wouldn't unravel because comb coils do tend to do that. They unravel much easier than two strand twists, but of course it depends on your hair type. With my two strand twists, I have only washed them once so far and I'm going to wash them again today, but I didn't need to put anything on my head. Uh, with my hair texture, which is 4A, 4B, the curls stayed nice and tight all the way through to the ends and actually pretty tightly up here on the rest of my head as well. With a two strand twist, I also knew how to moisturize my hair better this time around so I didn't feel that dry scalp, which made me feel like I needed to wash my hair really often but it was never a matter of me being afraid that they would unravel. Unraveling and new growth. My comb coils unraveled a lot the first couple washes that I did, especially in the back. Um, they stayed tight at the bottoms, but the, the top was just all loose hair. It was all over the place. I also seemed to have, it felt like a lot more new growth in my first month with comb coils, um, but it also could have just been the hair unraveling up there. These two strand twists are not as tight at the root, um, but there also isn't a whole lot of, of loose hair in here. 
As I said, I've had a lot less of a fear of my hair unraveling with these two strand twists. Thickness. <laughs> In the starter lock phase, there's no secret that comb coils tend to be thinner, regardless of your hairstyle. It's the process of combing and tightly coiling the hair that makes it so thin and so tight so that your hair is able to stay in these positions and lock. My two strand twists started out much thicker and I was able to wear them as just a regular two strand twi twist style. Boop. Retwisting. Because I washed my hair so much with my comb coils the first time, I needed to retwist more often. Simple as that. I retwisted maybe twice my full head and then kept updates on the front. And then at my one month, I got a full protective style. These two strand twists, I this was my first time retwisting any of them. I did these four in the front or six, did these six in the front. And I haven't touched any of the other ones. I actually don't plan on retwisting at least hopefully for the next two weeks if I can make it. And that would be a month and a half um, without my first retwist. My goal for this set is to make them as thick and as natural as possible. So I'm going to try to retwist as little as possible. So everybody's hair is different. Even if somebody has 4A, 4B hair like me, like your journey can look completely different. So I have no idea what your journey is gonna be like or which you'll choose to have comb coils or two strand twists. Either one I know is going to look beautiful on you and is going to blossom into the amazing crown and locks that you hope that they will be. So good luck on your journey. I just hope that uh, you do it. <laughs> Live happy.